I have gathered all the information we have on the Elder Scrolls 6 so far. I want to share it with you all, my fellow fantasy game lovers. So welcome to another video by me, the Ranger George, as we explore the Elder Scrolls 6, everything we know so far. The Elder Scrolls 6 was announced almost six years ago, and since then there's not been a whole lot of information about it. Essentially, so far, very little has been officially confirmed, except that it will be the next release for Bethesda after Starfield and its subsequent DLC, and after The Elder Scrolls 6, Bethesda will be working on Fallout 5. But there have been a lot of rumors, theories, and leaks, some with pretty credible deductions and assumptions. The first is that it is confirmed that it will not release on PlayStation, only on Xbox and PC. And this is pretty tough for PlayStation fans, as the previous releases, Skyrim and Oblivion, were available on PlayStation consoles. However, after Microsoft has now finalized its acquisition of Bethesda in 2021, it seems that most games going forward that are made by Bethesda Game Studios will be used to promote Microsoft services, similar to how you have games like Spider-Man and God of War on the PlayStation consoles. And this is pretty interesting because if you're not aware of this, for a while, Bethesda games were actually sort of exclusive to the Xbox consoles a long time ago, back with Morrowind. And then Oblivion initially released on the Xbox 360, and then later you had it come out on the PlayStation 3. And now going forward, it seems it will be returning to that, obviously because the studio has been bought by Microsoft. So this is something that's quite frustrating, and as someone that just plays games, I would love to see everyone be able to play this, and I think the same with God of War and Spider-Man, so I, I just think all these games should be available everywhere. It's, it's frustrating, but it's the way it is, and that's what we can expect so far. It will be coming out pretty much only on Xbox and PC, and also it is assumed that it will be available on the Xbox Game Pass at launch. Next, very recently, we found out from the Reddit user evena 27 that it has left pre-production and has been in development for around six months as of the making of this video. So obviously it was announced a very long time ago, but it has actually entered into proper development around six months ago. We also know that Starfield is still Bethesda's main focus, but as the DLC furthers completion, more and more people will move over to The Elder Scrolls VI, which currently has a development team of around 150 people. Bethesda will also be maintaining its use of the Creation Engine, but for The Elder Scrolls VI it will be using the Creation Engine 2, which to many fans may be good, as recently a lot of developers have been moving over to the Unreal Engine, which I think that I can understand that that's sort of an issue, because if every game is using the same engine, they could all feel kind of similar, or the video game industry could just get very kind of one track, and it's nice to have a bit of competition to push these engines in a certain direction. And I feel sort of happy that there isn't a complete monopoly with the Unreal Engine, and the next Bethesda game will still very much feel like a Bethesda game, which, if you're a fan of the Bethesda games like me, that's good news. Farewell. Although an Unreal Engine Bethesda game could of course be interesting, but for now, we know that it will be using the Creation Engine 2. And I'd actually like to hear what you guys think about that, because, well, this has been a big issue with Starfield and a lot of the issues with that game, and maybe people would actually just really like to see the Unreal Engine, so let me know down in the comments below. Many think that the game will take place in either Hammerfell or High Rock, or both, primarily because of the geographic features shown in the trailer. I personally feel that High Rock might be the most likely, but honestly, in this case, it's a complete hunch. There's a lot of theories out there, maybe I'll do a video on that in the future, but for now, know that these are the two most likely locations, or it could be somewhere completely outside of Tamriel. The release date is expected to be sometime after 2026, which was speculated from a court document leaked from the FTC vs Microsoft case over the acquisition of Bethesda Game Studios and Zenimax and all that sort of stuff, and there is a lot of speculation that a trailer may release this year in 2024, due to it being the 6th anniversary of the Elder Scrolls franchise. Although there could be nothing due to the current situation with Starfield, Todd Howard said he even regrets revealing the Elder Scrolls 6 so early, as, well it was almost six years ago now. The most important thing Bethesda seems to want to convey to us fans is to be patient. Recently their releases have been a bit disappointing, there were significant issues with both Fallout 76 and Starfield's launches, leading to many veteran developers leaving the studio. 
For example, I recently watched a video by Noclip Video Documentaries, they make some great documentaries about games, very interesting, and it had a guy that had basically worked on Fallout 76 and talked about how difficult it was for the development team after that game came out for them to sort of deal with a lot of the backlash to that. And on top of that, he discussed some of the philosophical changes at Bethesda and how during the Skyrim era, developers were largely left to make what they felt passionate about, but not so much in Fallout 76. It's a really interesting video and worth watching if you're curious about what's sort of been going on at Bethesda. But anyway, they seem to want us to be patient and let them take the appropriate amount of time to make a sequel worthy of the massive time gap between Skyrim and the next installment. This could mean anything, perhaps even a game covering multiple locations, but I hope instead they focus on one area and really provide a detailed and thought out world, perhaps only including other areas in expansions at later dates. Bethesda had a lot of issues with Skyrim and Fallout 76 being as massive as it was. 16 times the detail. Even stuff with Starfield, and I feel that there is a thing to be said for having a smaller game world, but packed with stuff and really thought out. I think that could be a better experience for The Elder Scrolls VI, and if they want to cover other locations, as I said, you can do that in expansions, or the modding community can really try and work on that sort of thing, like what's happening with Skyblivion. And just to quote an interview directly in which Todd Howard was asked about this, would you plan to have the kind of gap we're having between Skyrim and the follow-up? I can't say that's a good thing. Do I wish I could have a wand and the game we wanted to make just came out? Absolutely. That being said, everything takes longer than we would like as well, but we want to make sure that we get it right. Hopefully, Elder Scrolls 6, you don't want to say, hey, that it's worth that kind of wait, but it does stand up to the series as it has been in a really big, impactful way for when it comes out. So, rest assured, The Elder Scrolls 6 has begun development, it will hopefully be out in the next two to four years, and it will be created to be something of a worthy sequel to Skyrim. In the meantime, let's just wait and see what Bethesda comes out with. Perhaps another edition of Skyrim. Oh yes. Samsung Smart Refrigerator. Islamus. Thank you for watching today's video. Like it to see more. Comment down below what you think about The Elder Scrolls 6 and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos like this. Follow me on Twitter or X whatever you want to call it now to get updates on video games and the sort of videos I'm working on and I'll just share information I find on there. So thank you for doing that. Thank you to my Patreon supporters, and thank you for watching today's video. Good luck on your adventures, everyone.